I started out hating my husband and my feet hurt. It all was worth it in the end. The pain we all seek right here. Show the buck, Eric. Am I gonna get sponsored now? <laughs> you missed a couple times. Like four. <laughs> I did it all in one room rock stalker. Nice job, buddy. Thanks. Been a slow morning so far. Here it got a buck moving left down here by where those bucks were yesterday. And uh, so we were, I was figuring they were down there, but I kept looking around. Just picked up the big buck. He's quite a ways off. Finally got eyes on him, so that gives us hope. We just gotta put him to bed and hopefully that's in a good spot. And then 
I even called it. I was like, watch, they're going to stand up and walk right at us. That, that little four point, of course, the smallest one, comes right at us. Got within eight yards at one point. And then he just stayed right here, right next to us. And the other two fed out, and they were out around 63, 65, which I wasn't going to shoot that far with the wind blowing like this. So. <sighs> Yeah, if that little buck wasn't there, I could have made a move. I could have slid down and around or up and around and got within probably 40. And I would have taken that shot probably, but it just didn't happen. Just messed up that stock with uh, those other bucks. And we knew that that, four big, that tall 4x2 was over here somewhere. We were going to go eat lunch underneath these trees and... Uh, Blasted him up um, underneath the rock. So Aaron decided that he wants to go put a stock on him. So he's heading over there right now. I'm staying up here with the phone scope. And uh, I don't know how well it's going to work. He's The rock is kind of like an overhang. So he's going to try and get up on top of the rock and be right above him and shoot down. But I don't know how long that's going to take before the buck feeds out because it is I just don't think he's going to have a shot so we'll see That was so close. So close. I did it all on one Rimrock Stalker. I lost the one, I guess. You lost it? Yeah, I'll have to go back and try and find it. I also got myself pretty good. My broadheads. How? Oh. It's because I was excited and I wasn't thinking, so I was holding it like this. My fingers were dangling. So as I shot, they cut me. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Dude, how about this? Thanks, Ty. Dude. Thanks, man. Freaking perfect, huh? How close? I mean, it's, it's really close. I mean, eight yards. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're under 10 for sure. Yeah, eight yards. Yeah, dude, so I, when I was over here, I could just see his antlers, like right here. That was when he stood up. Yeah, that's when he stood up. I could only see antlers and I told myself, Patience kills, patience kills. Cause I just wanted to like take three big steps and try to shoot him and uh, no, patience kills. So I went back up and uh, the wind was perfect the whole time. Like there was one time though, I started making my way over. I could see him. I broke a twig and he like snapped his head like this. Yeah. And I just stood there, I'm like, oh crap, can you see my shadow? And so the next five minutes I was just like this. <laughs> trying to move back over there and finally I just thought oh gosh you just got to do this so I drew while I was back in the middle took like two real quiet steps and got him I could just I could see his shoulder perfect you know what's funny is we saw this buck opening day and I told Oki I have a feeling I'm gonna kill that thing <laughs> <laughs> you've been saying that from the get-go Looking at trail cam pics. 
Oh man, I've been craving an archery buck. I'm so stoked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, heck yeah. Decent track job, huh? Yeah, pretty good track job. That's what you were asking for. I know, I told I told Oki I haven't seen one of my archery kills go down in sight, so. <laughs> that one was sure in sight. Yeah, got him right, right in the shoulder. Two foot track job. <laughs> yeah. yesterday but hopefully it works out better so pretty awesome pumped that we're gonna get another chance today Good. Got so close. Uh, I was like five feet from the rock. And uh, yeah, you were about five yards from the buck. It looks like. Yeah, I mean, I was from me to you, <laughs> from the rock, and then it was just right around that. So, yeah. I don't know. I was like, I probably should have waited for him to stand up. On his own. Yeah. Yeah. But I was nervous just because the how he acted yesterday but uh, but what at the wind look what's the wind doing right now right i was like that was what i was mainly concerned with i was so close that if the wind sw like switched for a second done but it was probably worth the risk i guess and just sit there and wait for him to stand up i started thinking about it after is it's getting later in the afternoon so they're probably starting to get some sun on him the big buck was for sure i yes. just went and l looked at his bed g2 wasn't he wasn't. He had a lot of shades still. Yeah. Big buck head is like probably, I would assume half sunny. Half in the sun? So oh. if I would have waited half hour, he might have got up. But I couldn't even see him. Because. How far away was he from that big rock? Well, there's another big rock. So uh. there's the big rock that G2 was under. There's the big rock that the big buck was under. And then the little buck was out farther out in the wide open so it's not like i could peek over and like do anything because the little buck would have busted me could Stupid you have shot him yeah, probably again i don't know i didn't really see i just saw his, his antlers in his head and he was just laying out in the flat i might have been able to it would have been risky because i would have, i mean i probably could have stepped drawn stepped out shot but yeah it's crazy it's fun <laughs> Uh, Dude, you get so close. So close. Like, how many times can you get that close to a buck and not kill it? Lame. At least twice now. At least twice. <laughs> They're heading up towards the water hole right now. Are they? So. Hopefully they calm down. Yeah. Go get some eyes on them. Maybe find that other buck. What the heck is he doing? What a clown. Tyler thinks he's had bad luck because he has a beard and not just a stash, so 
he's creating and he's sculpting a, a stash right now. But uh, anyway, we're just regrouping, headed back to the track. Those bucks got us once again, two days in a row. So I don't know how far they spooked or where they went, but we're gonna try to get up high and see if we can find them today. It's so fetching hot. I feel lucky. That's gotta be why those, my stocks haven't worked out yet. Just telling you, this is a lucky charm. I gotta have the stash, just the stash. No beard. And a mullet though, don't forget the mullet. Yeah, the mullet, it just gives me that natural look when I'm on a stock and the buck catches me out of the eye. It just kind of flies in the wind, so I think I'm a bush. <laughs> We've got a new plan we're gonna go hit some new country that we haven't seen yet. And uh, we got the wind in our favor. There's not really any good glassing points, so we're just gonna get the wind in our favor and we're just gonna start hiking through, looking into all the shadows. And uh, hopefully we turn up some bucks, some new bucks, or, or they, they might have gone that way, so we'll see. Cover some miles now. four bucks out and this buck that was over here he just he kind of like bounces back and forth between areas and um, so <sighs> rough day trying to figure out what we're gonna do for tomorrow if we're even we gonna hunt <laughs> I think a morning hunt and call it if we don't get anything but Aaron's gotta get home I gotta get home to my newborn and my family so Maybe we can try and get it done in the morning. And uh, if not, I mean, it's been, it's been awesome. We're gonna awesome hunt to start the year off. Just wish uh, one of those stocks could have ended in my favor. So we got one more morning. We're gonna give it a heck. Let's see. We're doing, we needed a little pick me up. Got a rough day on the stocking front. So we're going spaghetti with elk burger and a little jalapeno in it. It's gonna be good. We ended up, we decided to glass this last morning just give it one last go my wife was like well you don't want to have any regrets and uh, I was pretty sure these deer weren't gonna be back in here they they got pretty nervous and, and uh, we didn't see them all day yesterday so I didn't have very high hopes and we went in and we saw a couple does and that was it so that's a wrap on this hunt unfortunately it didn't pan out for me but awesome that Aaron was able to get one back up here um, where me and Aaron were last week. We're just checking the trail cam again just to see if those bucks are back in the area. If they are, then my plan is to come back in a couple days and start hunting them again. So um, right now me and Dax are in here checking the camera. We'll see. Hopefully we got something. If we can find something glassed out, we might go chase it here real quick, but Right now, we're gonna get on this camera and check it out. Me and Dax got in here, pulled the card. Oh, the trail cam is dead. I don't know why it won't turn back on, so batteries must be dead, but uh, we were able to get some pictures and or some videos, and the bugs are back in here. So, it was super good. They're, they're in the 
this area still. We were worried that we pushed him out for good, so. Um, a few, it looks like at least G2 Buck has um, rubbed his velvet, so he's hard worn now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of glass in here with Dax this morning and see if we can turn him up. If they're in the perfect spot, I would take Dax on the stock with me, so. Um, as of right now, uh, the plan is to come back in a couple days. I got some classes I gotta go to, and then um, after that, come back in and see if we can get her done. All right, we just got here. Um, just getting loaded up, getting the packs loaded up. Got Jess with me today, and we came in uh, a couple days ago, three days ago, and checked the trail cam, and these bucks were back in here, so. Anyways, we're gonna put some glass down and see if we can find them this morning. First light. And all the same stuff from the same glassing point that Aaron and I were glassing from. And uh, Jess just picked up these three bucks, so we're gonna we're gonna freaking kill today. So pumped. Alright, we made it to the top and I just peeked, just started peeking around. I saw a buck bed underneath the rock. And it's those three bucks. So I'm gonna, I got the two bucks in front of the rock. And then there's another buck behind it. There's a small buck is between the rocks. So he's probably gonna screw me again. But right now I'm lost because wind is perfect. And uh, if I can just get that big buck to stand up first, we should be good to go. So. Hustling around, and uh, Jess is gonna film from the top. flipping trip so these bucks were all bedded right here 35 yards and uh, they changed beds and then the storm rolled in it was gnarly sat it out and then they start moving they go up the hill and uh, the big buck was in the middle and he kind of trotted up and he was he was like 70 yards and uh, the G2 buck was at 60 just below him. So they were, they, they winded me, the wind swirled, so they were gonna be out of here. That was my only chance. I only have tomorrow morning. So I just took the G2 buck. He deserved it because he screwed me a couple of times. So um, pumped. It was a s s awesome shot. He went about 40 yards and then piled up. So awesome. Can't wait to go show him. All right, here's the arrow. Awesome. Freaking smoked him. Perfect shot. It's all bubbled up on there. Iron wheel right there. Doing the job. Looks like I can sharpen it up and reuse it too. Sweet. We were just going to like our last little glassing point where we thought we might be able to turn them up from and I started peeking over and immediately saw the bucks bedded underneath the rock. So, um, the wind was great for the stock, hustled around and uh, got into position quickly. And they stood up because the storm rolled in and uh, they were gonna get hammered in the beds they were in. So they moved to the other side and man, it hailed so hard. I'd never been in that bad of a hailstorm, but it dumped rain and, and hail for, I don't know how long, 10, 10 minutes or so. And I was just <laughs> freezing, but I, I hung tight and I knew they were gonna get up soon. They'd wanna get up and feed, so um, hung tight. And then the wind swirled, of course. Um, wind swirled, they all kind of got up, started trotting off. So I had uh, had to make a quick decision because the big buck, he ran up on top of the rocks, didn't stop till he got up on top. He was at least 75, maybe farther. And uh, uh, G2 stopped sooner, so I uh, decided to just let it rip. I have today and uh, and then the morning tomorrow, so I just had to get it done and um, had to get home. 
got a newborn baby, so get this tag filled, um, get some meat in the freezer. That's all she wrote. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Aaron and I's Step Country episodes, for putting up with watching my greasy mullet for the entire series. We're gonna do another giveaway. One of you will win a Camp Chef Summit stove, just like the one Aaron and I cooked our elk spaghetti on. This is a great camp stove that we use on almost every trip. If you've seen the other episodes, you know the drill. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up, drop a line in the comments, and make sure you're a subscriber to the channel uh, to be entered to win. Winner will be drawn on May 8th. Good luck to everyone that enters. Thanks again for the support, and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.